Gag Nutties is a YouTuber with around 500 subscribers, and a month ago, he did the unthinkable. He got a real job. And he didn't upload for a while. He came back with this video. It shares some similarities to a video on the same topic by a guy named Man Carrying Thing. A lot of people pointed this out in the comments, but this is not plagiarism. See, this style of video, around a minute long, parodying a phenomenon in the YouTube community, this is Man Carrying Thing's style. It will be the most influential style of video on YouTube this year. I'm here to tell you why and how you can make your own videos like this. Be your own man and carry your own thing. This is Man Carrying Thing. He, was, he used to be a book review YouTuber. That's kind of weird. In late 2020, we saw the emergence of Man Carrying Thing style. There's a video under a minute long parodying an online interaction he saw between one of his author, friend, person, idol people and their fans. He began making these kinds of videos about other online events, including video essayists, which we'll get to later, and this became his most popular video to date. All right, so why is this style becoming so influential? It is really hard to break out into YouTube nowadays. Even if you do, once you get popular, you start talking to kids online and then the whole thing just derails. Anyone who has ever lived, who has ever interacted with any other people, who has ever been in any situation, can make a parody of it. So anyone can sit down with their phone cameras and whip one of these up. I should note that these are not uploaded as YouTube shorts, they're uploaded as horizontal videos. It gives you more freedom with the way you're able to present it visually, and comments on regular YouTube videos are usually more involved than those on YouTube shorts, not to mention, ad revenue. The people who are the best at storytelling will be the best at making these kinds of videos and man carrying thing, well he's read a lot of stories. He knows what he's doing, even comparing the video from the beginning to a man carrying things video on the same subject. There are camera angles, there's like blurs, fades, overlays. He's He knows what he's doing. I used to see my colleagues working on hour plus long videos like a Jubis Zubis situation. There was no creativity to this, but they were long and YouTube used to like really long videos. At some point when I was making these, a situation arose that was so awful, I could not make a video on it. I couldn't even say what the situation was. I decided it would be better if I let cartoon characters do it. It's the same kind of thing that Man Carrying Thing does, right? He tells a story in kind of the middle of it happening. He shows one or more characters reacting to it, but it's up to the audience to kind of infer what he's talking about and infer what the message of the video is. And I'm telling you, these can be really, really good if you are a good storyteller. So how do you do that? How could you make videos like these if you're just starting out? Well, Man Carrying Thing gave us these tips a while ago, back when he was a book reviewer, he uploaded a video of Ray Bradbury's writing tips. And here they are and how they can be applied to all those. Tip number one, try to write every day or at least think about your writing, edit something you're writing. If you do something every day, you're just gonna be better at it. Number two, when you're making the video, don't think. Don't overthink it. Just, you have a character talking to someone else, how does that person respond? Just naturally let it flow. Good art comes from an artist feeling something and transmitting that feeling through some work so that the audience can feel the same thing. That does not involve thinking. Tip number three, write things down that you love and write things down that you hate and write about what you love and it'll come naturally. I can't get enough of man carrying things videos. Anytime anything happens, I, I now expect to see one. And I'm honestly encouraged by the fact that other people are given their own shot at it with their own situations, with their own things that they're seeing in their everyday lives. I think this is a great new meta for YouTube to take on. So go out, do it, be a man, carry a thing. I've been Joey Barr. Hey, why don't you subscribe or something? I don't know. Get out! It's over.